Welcome back to the world of Tapir. It's been a while. Uh, so, the story thus far is that the False Sun crew are in the town of Cogston uh, searching for something connected to uh, Lavere's Bracer, as well as a vial of a golden fluid that, uh, that smells like uh, citrus. Um, and there they had learned that the town is stuck in a time loop of sorts, uh, from 6 a.m. to midnight, and at midnight a creature bursts from the ground in the center of town, directly under the clock tower, to level the place, uh, and that is where the loop resets, uh, Well, back to, to be six fair, we don't know if it lasts longer than that, because... Fair. That is where they all died and uh, experienced a reset uh, on yeah. their second cycle. Um, in their third cycle, they did some more investigation. Uh, they uh, freed uh, Miranda, the tiefling, uh, who is another outsider like them, though somewhat trapped due to failing uh, her 12 chances to... Uh, retrieve the vial. Um, I believe she was on her own. She was. Um, I, they also did more investigations, searching the, uh, uh, looking into the woodcarver, a stone giant named Oz that, uh, had some beautiful stone, car uh, uh, wood carvings. Uh, one of which being a fully articulated Tarrasque, about five feet tall. Um, from there they went to the warehouse district where they met up with Miranda once more, who uh, told them that they could probably find a lead if they got the ledger of a mysterious uh, mafia boss known as Young Chardonnay. Uh, after waiting until the mafiosos uh, left the the warehouse they were uh, scouting scouting no staking out um, they went in uh, punched in a number code which Miranda said would call an elevator only for it to reveal stairs instead they went down uh, and Katya made a dramatic entrance into Chardonnay's office, which gave Raja and Lavere the chance to dart into the corners while all eyes were on Katya and hide behind uh, potted plants on opposite sides of the uh, on opposite corners of this wall. So one is like to the left of the door, and the other is to the right of the door. Both. Uh, behind potted plants. Um, meanwhile, Corvus and Sushi are keeping watch outside. So, Katya, you have just told young Chardonnay, who revealed herself to be a calico cat enjoying her breakfast, uh, that someone was planning on stealing uh, her project under the clock tower. Yes. Uh, so, she's going to turn to you. She's sitting on the uh, she's sitting on the head of the desk, uh, staring at you. And she cocks her head and she says, "And what do you mean, my project?" You know. That special secret thing, the thing that will level the town and leave you to rule the rubble. Uh, can you come in your, uh, you're coming in a bit quiet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. That's the good. project that will leave the town in the rubbles and leave you to rule the ruins. She starts to pace around the desk and says, And why would I want that? What project... Would what 
use would I have in any kind of project that would level my own base of operations? Hmm. I wish I was better at thinking things. <laughs> Read the spell. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, I'm sure you have defenses in place to leave your structures and supplies a sanctuary. Then, after the town is destroyed, everyone will be dependent on you in the aftermath. And you get the whole city to, the whole island to yourself to rebuild and shape in your own image. As cute as that would be, I already run this city. Can I like roll something to like try and guess? what would be a good path to talk about. You can roll inside, I guess, to gauge her reactions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's no good. What was it? An eight. Yeah, uh, she's hard to read. She's a professional. <sighs> Those cats also have an understanding. But also, I rolled bad. Sob, sob. <sighs> I forgot that, like, this is where we had left off, and I needed to, like, actually think. <laughs> Of things to say because I've had a lot happening. Well, the good news own. is you mostly just need to distract <laughs> her or get her out of the room so the yeah. others can steal the uh, yeah. the well, ledger. Well, <laughs> either way, I know there was a, I know there was a bottle of Teresque blood hidden under the tower, and I know there's a plan. Teresque to steal blood. It. What makes you think if <laughs> Teresque blood? What would make you think that I have any involvement with anything Teresque? They've been dead for a long, long time. It's... Yes, they have, but that doesn't mean a small vial of blood couldn't have been preserved. I've heard the whispers, I've heard the plans. Do you want to keep this safe or not? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had no involvement with Trask blood. I don't even well, know I'm where I'd even find a vial of that. Earthquake and then... At 12 a.m., a giant Tarasque that somehow has wings is going to pop out of, from the ground and blow us all up. <laughs> Roll persuasion. Where is... There it is. 12. Is that with modifiers, or...? Yeah. Oh god. Uh do you have guidance? Nobody guidance to you. That I clicked the, the dice a bunch more times just the hell of it and it keeps giving me like four to five. You rolled three twelves, a thirteen, and a fifteen. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh that doesn't bode well. Maybe switch the dice. <laughs> Yeah, go to go to collections. Look, you're getting the bad luck out early. Switch your dice. <laughs> yeah, go to collections. Maybe your luck will be so bad we start playing Star Wars next week. <laughs> uh, you, you somehow run through nine cycles in a single session. <laughs> uh, no. Theoretically uh, possible. Uh, so. She. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I don't know what you th are thinking, 
But I'm not an idiot, and I'm not going to fall for such outlandish tales. I'm going to cast Gift of Gab. Okay! So I get to redo this conversation. Is it, uh, verbal or some? What are the components? Uh, oh, um... Okay. Um... It's VSMR. Somatic? Oh, wait, V... Yeah. V-S-M? Yeah. There's uh, also a royalty component yeah. of two gold yeah. pieces. Uh, I will gladly use two gold pieces to redo this tragic what's, conversation. What's the material? It doesn't say? Oh, that might it be- It doesn't really say, but it's probably gold. I I'm guessing it's probably the, the gold then. Uh, so if it's verbal and somatic, which is the V and the S, uh, mm -hmm. they, Chardonnay would be able to tell that you are casting some sort of spell. So you would have to do it, like, in a way that she won't see oh, it. Oh, okay, I see how it is. What? Uh, when it says royalty, it don't mean king. Yeah, no, it's money. Yeah. No, you're paying royalties to Jim to Jim Dark Magic. What? Yeah. What? Uh, the royalty component is a new kind of spell comp introduced in Acquisitions Incorporated. It's similar to the material component, but instead of needing an object, you need to have a certain amount of gold, usually equal to the spell's level, on your person. When cast, that amount of GP disappears from your person, whether you're aware or not, and reappears in a, in a container defined by the... Okay, you know what? I know... Ex I know... I know... use the spell. I know exactly who it is that you're going to pay to use it, then. You're paying a guy to use, the, to use his spells. You're paying royalties to him. Wow, okay, so it's like a subscription... Fo a Photoshop subscription, but like for each brush you use within Photoshop. Oh, kind of. God. Alright. <laughs> I'll, uh, I, I think I, I, it's pro honestly, it's probably going to be going into the, uh, Merchant's Guild. <laughs> that is the exact kind of bullshit they would try to pull. <laughs> uh, alright, if you want to cast it, you'd have to do it in a way that she won't see, or else she will yeah. know that something is up. Well, well... For the verbal... It's it's an instantaneous spell. It it takes a it takes a reaction to cast, and it completely rewrites memory. Oh, it does. Within the last six seconds. Okay, then I will. Everything you said within the last six seconds. Those uh, creatures then remember what you actually said. That you actually said the words you speak as the verbal component of the spell. Okay, okay, okay. So instead of saying, or I instead of the memory of uh. So it'll be replacing you saying that uh, you saw a Tarrasque, basically. You'll be replacing that with something more believable, I guess? Yeah. I just have or, to think of something more believable. Or <laughs> say it in a believe. way that's more believable. Yeah. It lets you, for the cost of two gold and a, sp and a level two spell slot, it lets you... Uh, retry an action's worth of co of conversation. Yeah, I'll allow it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's a really oh good spell. I forgot the cat's name. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Oh. Young Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is just No, no, it's, it's fine. I think I, uh... I think at some point last session, I accidentally called it her, like, Young Champagne. <laughs> uh, wrong wine. I know. Kills you. There's not even a France in this place. We, there's no champagne in Tapir. It's all just sparkling wine. Her name is Young Sparkling Wine. <laughs> 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 Kidding. Um... Yeah, no, her name is Chardonnay. Uh, young yeah. Chardonnay. What? So. With this, could I roll, like, 
history or something to see if I can like know a little bit if I do know a bit about Chardonnay or if I've heard of her because I'm so oh, damn we, old I know everything. You did that. Uh, you did that last time. You are oh, aware did? that she was that she was a huge crime head. Yeah, she huge was, head of a crime syndicate. And then disappeared okay. in uh nine nine eight is when yeah. people noticed that she was gone. Completely yeah. vanished off the face of Tapir. Yep. And now we know why. Yeah. Basically, nobody realized that Cogston got fucked up until uh, the new year. Damn. Because people were partying for 10 days. <coughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's a bit long ass fucking party. Yeah. Basically, right. Lent. Except not in April. Yeah. It's basically the Thursday. It's basically Thursday, but last 10 days. It's a liminal space. Yeah. Young Chardonnay, you have to believe me. I know for a fact that some band of scoundrels has placed an, a giant bomb in somewhere in the mines and in the clock tower. And there's going to be an earthquake 12 p.m. today and another one at 12 a.m. And when the 12 a.m. goes off, that's gonna be the big one. This group means business. They're trying to destroy your empire. All right, roll persuasion. Bringing the livelihood of her business into oh, it might help. 28. Yeah, I bitch. Hell yeah. That is. That's a nat 20, fuck yeah. Yeah. It's good because the DC was 25. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's a crime boss. She's got... It takes a lot to convince her of things. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, she paces around uh, and thinks, and she says, Hmm. I have... Hmm. The fur has on oh, my back has been standing up uh, a bit, and I do feel like something's coming. Where in the mines? Do you know who it is that is trying to take me down? I don't know who it is exactly, but there is something deeply magically wrong with this island. Magic? But There's no magic yes. here. Well, I have magic. Something's afoot. Well, the the constructs in the mines are going crazy. I watched them drag the sheriff off to who knows where with his broken leg. And if automatons are not doing their jobs, that's very scary. That means they know something. Something's going on. Hmm. If the if the automatons are messing up, then that means probably Zeke's up to something. There are many threads in this town, and the center of the web hinges our lives. <sighs> mm. oh. I think I might know who's behind this then. I would be glad to do anything to help you, young Chardonnay. And All right. Katya bows deeply. <laughs> All right. Well, you can help me by uh, going in the mines and disabling that bomb. Yes. That is something I would very much like to do, but I'm not sure what kind of bomb. <sighs> well, if it is who I think it is, then it's probably something pretty bad. I know the mine will collapse, I can tell you that much, I've been hit by those rocks several times. You've been... If the mine collapsed, we would have felt it by now. Oh, yes, it's going to. Pest explosions. <sighs> there are some weird things going on where things keep happening over and over again. Well... 
I think I'm going to have to look into a few things. Uh, she crawls over to the drow who and crawls into her arms. The drow stands up and starts uh, walking to her and says, You are dismissed. Thank you, young Chardonnay. And she bows and walks off and hopes that this was enough of a distraction for the others to do what they needed to do. Uh, on that point, uh, s uh, Chardonnay is walking out with you. Uh, or, well, uh, her drow is walking out with you. Uh, and I'm going to need Reja and Sushi to make a stealth check. Uh, Reja and Levere. Yes, Reja and Levere to make a stealth check in order to try and not uh, be... Has the, is the I'm going to use a lucky. Is the still going? Or... Yeah, uh, yes, because you cast it right before going down the stairs. I'm going to use a lucky charge. Okay. Because okay. I rolled a 14, which means a nat 1. I think you so still have pass. Oh, yes. I think I think you still have pass without trace still on, right? Yeah, yeah but hour. I want to do better. I want to do better than a twenty-four. That's fair. Hmm. That's not that much better. Twenty-seven total. All right, and what about you, Raja? Uh, let me double check. Those are uh, corner. Thirty. All right. Uh. As you, as she I have walks, plus thirteen to my stealth rolls. As she uh, walks out, uh, Chardonnay says, "Wait, make sure you lock up the office. Even if I'm gone a couple minutes, I don't want anyone getting in there." And uh, the drow nods and turns around, and closes the door, and. Uh, you two hear a click. As, uh, it is, uh, locked up. The, uh, uh, Katya, uh, Chardonnay escorts you back to the stairs, pulls the stairs back down, uh, and says, um, well, you go figure out what it is that you need to do to prevent all this catastrophe. I have my own things to do. Thank you so much for your valuable time, young Miss Chardonnay. Young Chardonnay? Yes. I, I will not have my youth be looked and be forgotten. I did. Sorry. Oh. I swallow my words a bit sometimes. Common is not my first language. Uh, be off. Yes. Katya scurries off. As you uh, scurry up the stairs, you can see th they turn to go into the uh, door that leads deeper into the base. Uh, um, Reja, oh, right. Sushi, y'all are locked in. Lemire! Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm used to... I, I'm... It's because my uh, icon on... Uh, Discord in the call, the chat uh, breaks up Levere from like the rest of the group. You should be used to me being with Levere or the bird. I'm used to I'm say I'm used to her. saying sushi second in every group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Raja and Levere, you two are currently locked in Chardonnay's office. Okay, the yes. thing we're wanting to get is in here, right? Uh, Miranda seems to think so. It was a ledger that she told you to... Uh... <laughs> Raja will immediately start looking for it. Uh, the room has uh, bookshelves, a painting, and a desk uh, the, with some drawers. The desk currently has a fish fillet on it as well as uh i believe eggs and some slices of ham if i remember correctly 
I uh, will start with the desk and, and look. All right. I will. Did you say there's like a closet or something? No, no, no. Uh, it, it was bookshelves, a painting, a desk, uh, the, and some plants. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wiggle the painting back and forth a little bit to see if there's any like clicking. All right. Before y'all do anything, actually, uh, roll perception checks. Perception. Yeah, while you're still hiding. Motherfucker! The, I was. I, I'm. I'm using my last lucky roll. That was almost a 19, and then it was like, no, sorry, it's one. I fucking hate it when it hits the hits the wall and doesn't move. Yeah. Uh, perception. There we go. 30. 23. All right. Both of y'all notice that the plants you're hiding behind are a little bit withered, uh, and sort and like not as green as they should be. For the kind of plants that they are, uh, they are not well taken care of. Um, mm. so you were uh, looking, you were wiggling the painting. Yeah, I'm si you know, seeing if it like clicks, or if there's anything hidden behind it. As you wiggle the painting, the painting doesn't budge. It is mm. not held on with string as a uh, painting, or is not held on by normal painting means. Hmm. I think. I think this. I think this painting is like a hidden vault door, like a safe. Yeah. Uh, the the painting is uh. I should probably describe the actual painting. <laughs> uh, the painting is a uh, is a uh, twelve by twelve uh, canvas. Uh, so I guess fourteen by fourteen with the frame um, uh, inches, uh, and it is a painting of uh, Cogston. Uh, of the Cogston skyline at sunset. Uh, probably during the summer, as there's no snow uh, visible in it. Alright, Levere finds out that the painting, which is a nice which is a nice landscape of Cogston sunset, is stuck fast to well, the it's wall. A, it's a square. It can't be portrait or landscape. Hmm. Look, if it's of if if of, if it's a painting of an environment, that's a landscape. Okay, okay. Bob Ross's paintings were square. That's fair. Huh. I will give you that. And it is the the uh, Cogston skyline at sunset in the summer. All right. You finding anything? Oh, right. Uh, Reja, you were looking through the drawers? I was checking the desk and then the drawers, yeah. All right, roll investigation. <laughs> okay. Uh, 21. Uh, you find several books. Um, there is a... Uh, uh, you find uh, books about uh, statues. You find one of horticulture. You find one of uh, uh, different types of clockwork pieces. You don't find any secret compartments or uh, safes or anything. Um... I can't find it over here. Um. Wait, hold on. I have an impeccable sense of irony. I head over to the plant. Yeah? I lift- I, I see if I can lift up one of the pots. Uh, roll strength. This- the pots are, uh, cer no, not ceramic. Uh, fuck, what's the- terracotta. Terracotta? Terracotta's the one that's, uh... 18. 
Uh, you do lift it up. It's kind of heavy. You're not sure how long you can hold it. Does is anything revealed by this? No. <laughs> I put it back down. It. There doesn't okay. seem to be anything under it. Okay. The universe's sense of irony does. What sense of irony? Because what if the solution was right where we were hiding? <sighs> Alright. So you've checked the plants, you've checked- think look everywhere but the plants. So I'm getting that out of the way. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Okay, All right. Let's look at the plants. They looked... I'm gonna go over to the plant and I'm gonna try and like lift the plant out of the pot and see if it'll just come up. All right. Is anything under? Roll strength. Uh, nineteen. Uh, yeah, nineteen. You, you gotta wiggle to get it out, but you do. It, it causes some dirt to fly or to. Uh, fall out uh, all over the pot, uh, all over the floor around the pot, getting into the carpet. That's fine. Trying to be careful lifting it. Press the digitation will take care of it. I don't have that. <laughs> Anything underneath there, or is it just no? Okay. Uh, it's again. pretty dry. Looks like it hasn't been watered in a while, though. Hmm. Okay. That was worth a shot, though. Uh... All right. Okay, look at the... Okay, get a look at the bookcase. Bookcase, bookcase. Okay. Uh, Maybe he's going to start cleaning up the dirt as best he can. The bookcase... Uh, roll an investigation on the bookcase. That's another 21. All right. Uh... As you're looking at it, it's alphabetized, but the spacing is a little bit weird. If you were to push all of the books to one side or the other, there would be room for another book to be put in. It was spaced in such a way to hide that there was a book missing. All right, that's good. That's good. Okay. But then where's the book? Mm -hmm. Right, what else is there in the room? Uh, of note, there's the painting, the bookshelf, and the desk, and I guess the plants that you were hiding behind. Lavir's gonna start, like, tipping books out. Not, like, taking them out completely. It's like grabbing the... You know, tilting it to see if it activates it. Uh, doesn't... Obviously, it's only gonna be about maybe the first two or three shelves on the bookcase, because he is three feet tall. Yeah, it's a small bookcase right below the painting. Or, yeah. Like, it has, like, two shelves... Uh, all of the books seem to tilt as you would expect. There's no secret, uh, no no secret passages seem to open up. Mm -hmm. Look at the painting, and it wasn't. Maybe we try moving movie Wait. A, a different way. Wait, no, I have an idea. What? I'm going to take a good long look at the painting. All right. See if I notice anything like perhaps there's a section of the painting that's further out than the rest, like a button, maybe. Give uh, that a look. <laughs> Let Razor know that that's the idea, too, in case I shit at my minus one investigation roll. OK. All right. Investigate uh, 12. 
Uh, not that you can really tell. That's so twenty. Raja, as you're looking at it, you realize the hands of the clock on the clock tower are there's a tiny gap or a tiny uh not a gap uh impression like they're sticking out ever so slightly ooh ooh right there right there ooh fuck hands reach out and like try and press it uh they don't seem to move mm hmm Okay, well they're sticking. Wait, up, hold so. on. Instead of instead of pressing it, try and turn them. Okay. But also, but first, before you do, before you, before you mess with it. Okay. Take note of what it actually is. Okay. Like the time on it. The time on it is at three o'clock. Three o'clock. You know, uh. Our hand at three, you know, just a sing uh, like a right angle. Yeah, yeah. All right. As you try to twist the uh, the hands on the clock, they don't seem to budge. They are giving resistance. It seems like there's something locking them in place right now. Um, that didn't work. The, it, it's like locked into place or something. Damn it. There's gotta be something we can do to unlock it. Mm. You got any ideas? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Bridger will check the chair and then under the desk and just kind of look around that area and then just kind of walk around the room trying to. I'm gonna. Get, I'm gonna get, like, gently idea. see. I'm gonna gently see if I can, like, pull the bookcase out a little bit. Uh, roll strength, I guess. Uh, Reja, you Nine. roll investigation. Uh, Levier, the bookcase seems to be built into the wall. Nah. It, it, it's got it has a gap, like, at the, the back to make it seem like it's not part of the wall, but, like, trying to pull it getting your like seeing just a bit into the gap you can see that it is actually built into the wall there's like struts in the back of it that connect to the wall uh not struts like an entire more like the gap was the gap only goes down like two inches before like solid before into it becomes the wall. solid yes it was made specifically to look like it's not connected to the wall, unless you look closely. Mm. This is part of the wall. I'm gonna... Ooh, okay, I know it. I know. I'm going to give it a little look. I'm going to see if I can notice any, like, separations in the wall to see if the... Like, if it's a big door. Alright, and Reja, what were you doing? I was starting around the desk area and then Ten. slowly making my way around the room. And All that right. was an eight, 18. Uh, the 10 with the desk, you don't I... you don't find much uh, uh, else other than what you already found. Those uh, three books in the drawer and the food on the desk. And the chair is kind of comfy. <laughs> If you mess with the food, remember where it was. He can put it back. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lavier, the it does not seem to be a. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a. Like a hidden door. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, um, this is stressful. Yes, it is. I really don't know what else to look at. I mean, you're doing stuff with the bookcase. The bookcase is connected to the wall. 
Did you look at one side of it for the thing? Or did you check both sides and try and move it both sides? I yeah, it's on both sides. It it looks like it's not. There's like a gap on each side that only Uh, uh, did you pull the books off or put them back on where they were? They're still in. I just, oh, okay. um, I like tilted them to see if it was like any, any book switches. Oh, okay. I'm hmm. gonna, I'm just gonna look at I'm the gonna, books. To I'm gonna start me. taking books out and then putting them back in. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna watch and see where the books go. Where are you put? Then are you putting them there. back in alphabetical order? Are you like taking them off all at once and then putting them back on? I'm I'm taking them out like one at a time and then like seeing if that does anything and then putting. I do not want to leave any. Tra are you putting it back before pulling the other one out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but that doesn't work. By the time taking out multiple. By the time you get to it, uh, to the end of it, you accidentally mess up the spacing, and there's uh, a decent amount of space yeah. for another book, which Reza had already found. Uh, mm -hmm. That there was the spacing was intentionally made to uh, hide the fact that you could fit another book Wait. in there. Wait, no, I have Wait. an idea. Maybe Raja, we should take one of the Raja, books get... and put it in there? Wait, Raja, get the books out of the desk. Okay. Alright. Uh, it was three books. Mm -hmm. Uh, one is about clockwork. Um, one is horticulture. And the third... Oh, fuck, where is it? God, I don't remember. I generally don't remember. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, you wrote it in the notes, right? I cannot nope. find it in mine. Was it a cookbook or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember either. But there's one about like uh, a catalog of uh, of clockwork. Uh, Pieces, you know, cogs, springs, screws, sprockets. Uh, yeah, yeah. And there is one that is on horticulture. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so. Levere's going to arrange the books so that, you know, so that there's a gap. Alright. But which book fits the most in that gap? All three books are about the same size. Yes, yes, but what's missing from the alphabetical? I mean, there are there's no single letter missing. Probably Z's missing. Why don't we try the one with the clocks first? All right, so you're gonna yeah. move the space to C. Yeah, I'm gonna move it to C so that I can put the clockwork book in. All right. As you do, nothing happens. Ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, take that out. Give it back to Raja. Try the horticulture. Okay. As you put the horticulture in H. Uh, picking up the horticulture book, it is a little bit heavier than you were expecting, uh, compared to the, uh, the, uh, mechanics book. Um, and when you place it in, you hear a click as it's, you hear a click as it sinks in, like, half a centimeter. Hmm. And you hear, uh, tick, 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 click, uh, the, the final click being at the painting coming from the painting. Oh. Alright. Uh, are the hands still at three? Yes. 
Uh, all right, I... Okay, Raisha, see if you can... Because you're tall. Uh, see if they can move now. Okay. As you turn, they do move, and you can feel a tick, 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 as you do. It turns almost like a combination lock, a, a, a dial combination lock. Uh, all right. Uh, you know how to crack those things, right? Uh, I mean, I can try. I'm pretty good at, uh, at hearing and seeing, so... All right, I'll give you some. I'll give you quiet so that you can hear the tumblers. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, Levere's going to dig around in his bag and take out a take out a mug. Put this against the wall. Oh, thank you. Or the painting, I guess. Yeah. It's dry. The mug is dry. So it's not going to leave a stain on the on the painting. All right. All right. So what are you doing to, uh... All I'm right. I'm gonna put it against and then try to listen and, <laughs> like... All right, I'll... I'll do sleight of hand. Uh, I'll let you do sleight of hand. Ooh. What's your sleight of hand modifier, by the way? Um, let me double check that i have a plus 14 oof <laughs> you see my, my my problem is i didn't take expertise i all right what you roll i i have some very special gloves that help me there's um, a dog barking outside i can't <laughs> hear it good um 32. Uh, 32? <laughs> Alright. So, as you move the hour hand, click, mm. click, 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 turk, it stops on, uh, y you hear, at the eighth hour, and for the minute hand, it's tick, 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 tick click. It clicks on the, uh, just after the seventh, uh, out, uh, so, the time seems to be 8.36. And you hear a click as the painting opens up. Got it. And there See? is a safe My... behind it. Oh. Well, I was right in one aspect. The painting was a safe. It's just that behind it is another. Uh, the safe uses a key. Uh, requires a key. Or... Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Alright, roll sleight of hand for the thieves tools. Alright. Uh, am I, this one or am I? I, you're tall. You're already standing on the uh, bookshelf to reach the safe, so. You're tall and have a full, like, extra five on me on sleight of hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. Plus, I'm out, I'm out of lucky charges. Child. Crying child. No, no problem, no problem. I'm out of lucky okay. charges. Ah. Um, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. All right. Uh, the the lock is. Jesus. The lock is a bit more difficult than what you're used to, but you were, you're probably expecting that considering how much security, uh, this cat has put on this particular, uh, safe, but. It's nothing you can't handle, and with a click, er, the safe opens. Alright. Alright. Inside the safe is... A book. 
uh, it seems to be, uh, it seems to have, like, a lot of, uh, papers inside that are lightly at, uh, glued on, uh, glued into it. Uh, basically, a book filled with, like, sticky notes and, uh, certain portions underlined, uh, and reading it, you can't really make heads or tails, uh, uh of it right now. But, it does seem to be some kind of ledger. Hey. We've got the book. Okay, hey. hold on. Uh, have I used my key this entire time? Uh, yes. Y yes, yes, you put stuff in it at some- in the hotel you did. Right, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a good little 30 seconds to open up my, my space. Alright. And then very gently put the book inside and then close it. Alright. Alright. Done with that. Close the safe, close the painting. Uh, set the hands back to three and take the book back out and put it back in the desk. All right. Anything else you're going to do before you uh, leave the room? Uh, Make sure, double check, everything is exactly the way it was before we came in. Roll perception. I'm going gonna... to space the books so that there's not a gap anymore. All right. This is funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You realize that the spacing of the books was the last thing you I needed also, to do. I also rolled a natural 20. Yeah. If you didn't remember to space the books, that would have come back to bite you. <laughs> Alright. Books spaced, dirt around the pot cleaned up, everything set back in place. Nothing on the desk has been touched food-wise. The book drawer you closed. Uh, everything looks just like it did when you uh, entered. All right. Now, before we actually leave, Levere's gonna put his gonna put the side of his head up again. against the Did door. I stop? Did I pick up? Yeah, you said you were gonna put it against the the side of the door. Yeah, to listen for like listen and if the if the bitch is coming back. Well, she's a cat, first of all, not a dog. <laughs> Uh, hee <laughs> hee. All right, but, but do I hear anything? I too for that joke. You roll perception. Twenty. Twenty. You do hear the clacking of high heels <laughs> headed your way. Hide! 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 Uh, I could just get us out of here. Oh, right. Actually, yeah, is there a window? Nope, it's underground. Right. Okay. Do we know exactly how far <laughs> underground we are? Yeah, you have an approximation. Okay. It was, uh, just... it was like a, uh, I think 20 foot, uh, 20 feet of staircase. Yeah, yeah, you know. Right, dimension door us out of here. You are yeah. within 500 feet of where you last saw Sushi and Corvus. All right. All right. All right. Get us out. Get us out. All right. Yep. You. Dimension door is out. You quickly dimension door out right as you hear the door unlocking, and you poof. Appear right uh, in front of Sushi and Corvus and Katya, uh, back on the roof of the building across the warehouse. Sushi, Sushi's just casually having a conversation with Corvus, just goes in, going, "Would you eat me if I was a worm?" Um, that's a very odd question to ask. Okay. <laughs> I just wiggle right. my tail like a worm at her beak. Hmm. I just then, wouldn't think, I wouldn't think yeah. about eating a yeah. worm. Yeah. Like I'm, Hello, I mean, Discord, I you picking up the mic? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
Uh, you're, Sorry, you're Discord is freezing up a little. Your familiar turns to uh, uh, Kachi and asks, "Would you eat, would you eat me if I was a worm?" No, I don't like worms. Uh, that's fair. I'd keep you on a little terrarium, though. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> I don't eat, eat though. All right, that's pretty convenient. Works for a terrarium. Poof! Uh, Le uh, uh, Levere, Levere and Raja appear and land in the snow right by you. So, huh. did you get it? Yes. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, and just in time too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you look at the uh, you look at the clock tower and see that it's about eight. Um. Last you heard of Miranda, uh, she said she was going to head to the library and meet you there. If you got the ledger. All right, All right. let's go to the All library. Right. Yeah. Let's book it. Ooh. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, so, you make your way to the library, um, the, uh, uh, you make your way to the library, and you can see that, uh, Miranda is currently there, just waiting and reading. I give a wave. She waves you Got over. It. Did you get it? Oh yeah. We got it. Fucking yeah. Alright. I uh... I got the uh... The, the book you need to decode it. Uh, she flips... Uh, it's a cookbook. And... She flips Young through Miss it. Champignon has something going on too. She seemed to know a bit about what's going on. <sighs> All right. The uh... that or that or she believed your lie and played into her own paranoia. Honestly, it could go well, either hey, way. The majority of what I said was the truth. All right. Let's see the ledger. Uh, uh, right, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna give a look around in the library. Is there, like, anyone around? Uh, there are some people setting up, uh, decorations for the, uh, uh and moving the, the, the hmm. as you look around, it seems that they're trying to prepare the library for an event tomorrow that'll be taking place right, tomorrow. okay. Um... I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna go walk up to one of the li one of the what? The librarians. Fucking Discord cutting me <laughs> off. Bullshit. All right. It is a halfling woman uh, who is uh, in her later years. Uh, she's got hair that was probably a uh, at one point a sort of strawberry blonde, but has since uh, mostly grayed. Uh, she adjusts her. Uh, um, her turtle shell glasses and says, hey, Levere, hello. Levere has on his face of uh, a look of mild urgency. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Where's the bathroom? Oh, uh, down the hall, uh, second door on your left. Oh, thank you. Uh, and Levere heads off to the bathroom. All right. Uh, luckily, Cogston has uh, indoor plumbing. <laughs> Uh, so, you you make your way into the bathroom, uh, I assume you nice. go into a stall? Yeah, Levere goes into a stall and then, uh, you know, yeah. takes 30 seconds, opens up his thing. Yeah. To get the book, and then he puts it in his bag. Yeah. And you head back out to them? 
Well, then he goes pee, and then he heads back. Oh. Out. <laughs> <laughs> he All right. I feel like, huh? Oh, gosh, feels like I haven't pissed in like four months. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, that means you you're gonna have to piss at uh eight. Uh, let's see. Actually, it'd probably be like. If you walked there, it'd probably be like 8.15. You're gonna have to piss at 8.15 every cycle from this point forward. Well, he's <laughs> gonna have to mildly need to piss. He can hold Yeah, that's fair. Uh, alright. So, you come back, and, uh... Amanda says, uh... Alright. Is that it? Yep, and he, uh, plunks the book onto the table. Alright. Have y'all ever uh, deciphered a uh, crime boss's ledger before? Uh. Not in a while. Uh. A couple times. Back before the. After the war. But. Every crime boss has a different system. So it's not really comparable. Well, that's fair. At least y'all have more experience than I do. Y'all want to take a crack at it? <laughs> Let's see what we've got. All right. Take the cookbook. You take the ledger. Uh, what are you looking for in particular in the ledger? Anything uh, that repeats. Uh, yeah, it's something that can be, that can reasonably be deciphered into a code. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll. Uh. Uh, intelligence, both of y'all. Okay. All right. A six. Oof. Fifteen. All right. Uh, with I have a minus one modifier. Be don't worry, because you have Miranda and she knows the book you actually need to, uh, that is the cipher, uh, the DC is much lower than it would be if you didn't have the cookbook, uh, to help the cipher. A 15 just makes it. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, Katya, you've experienced this kind of cipher before. Um,. It doesn't... It, it takes about half an hour to finally crack it. Um, now, what in the the most recent import uh, seems to be uh, honey, blueberry preserves, and strawberry jam. However, through Are deciphering there leaves in the background, this oh, I should probably change the music. Not in the music. That that's uh someone. No, yeah, it's, uh, that's someone's mic is picking up sirens. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, but who's? Okay, I I I had a feeling that it was one of us on the east coast. All right. <laughs> Alright. Is that... Is that going? I like the vibe of that music. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's going. Yeah. It's just really quiet. Jesus Christ, there's so many different ones. I wonder where the hell they're all going. What? Oh. This oh, looks, like, looks, oh. Like the cop looks like the sirens are on TK's end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... All right. Yeah, no, it's, it's my and my windows open. Cops come here and drive down the highway all the time. That's fair. You do live in a city. <laughs> um, well, I live on a highway. Okay. So, uh, through deciphering, you realize I live in a city. through deciphering it with the cookbook, you realize that these are the the prices for them are outrageous. Like eight thousand. For the blueberry preserves, six thousand for the strawberry jam, all GP, um, and twenty thousand for the jar of honey, and then you realize that the honey is the Tarask blood, 
the blueberry preserves are the blood of a blue dragon. The strawberry jam is the blood of a red dragon. Oh. And they were all imported within Someone's the was making a creature. They were all imported within the last month and oh, paid for making a creature by a figure who goes by Vermilion. Hmm. Well, that's not great. They were paid for by Vermilion, not brought in by Vermilion. Still not great. Uh, Katya and Sushi, go ahead and roll a history check. History. Since you two would... 27. Uh... <laughs> Katya, you know who Vermilion is. Vermilion. Well. Vermilion is someone who is a war profiteer. They are someone who uh, who had acquired uh, weapons manufacturing, uh, medicine manufacturing, uh, even parchment manufacturing. They are someone who has a mega corporation. Yes. Vermilion is effectively a one person military industrial complex. Damn. But Damn. you also know that Vermilion is still active in the uh, in the modern times. In the modern times, in fact, about eighteen—no, not eighteen. Uh, about thirteen, thirteen, yeah, thirteen years ago, uh, Vermilion f uh, funded a uh, a coup in some country in the uh, in the east, or uh, not a country, but a small colony in Jareel. They, Holy shit. <sighs> That's pretty heavy. Yeah. So, we're dealing with some very dangerous players. And uh, Katya relays all this to the group. These, these guys, Vermilion, they've been kind of running the world from backseat for oh, 30 years. Longer, maybe. Who knows? Definitely they're longer. Like they're all there was and never will be. Hundreds of years. Yeah. Ah. Longer than my whole lifetime. Vermilion has been the big underground boss. And, uh, they, they they love making their money off war, you know? <laughs> Nothing creates greater need for weapons and medicines than people hating each other and getting violent about it. Uh, so, uh, my guess is uh, they're engineering something. I think the reason why our laser beam monster guy looks like Tarasque, uh, but is not Tarasque, probably because it's uh, engineered, you know, somebody's shoving all those bloods together and making something even bioengineering. Why would you want to make a Tarask? This is a bad uh, idea. Because if you could control like something that could destroy an entire continent, everyone is like beholden to you, not fucking them up. You can get whatever you want from whomever you want. From yeah, well, people used and to be able to control things. Uh, control things that could destroy entire continents. You know what we did? We killed them. And, uh, how do you expect to kill a... what could be a Tarrasque with dragon properties? I don't and know! According, I... to what, uh, according to what we saw last loop, uh, not just... A... that's what it was. What? 
the a, a dragon wing. The, uh, the thing that destroys the town, a Tarask with dragon wing. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yep. I, I I I can yeah, believe that. <laughs> well, we better get stop it from waking up in the first place. That's our only option. But uh, is there anything in there that can tell us the code for the tower? Uh, I don't know. You know the numbers. Um, Wait, weren't we gonna try um, the the date from when the guy showed up here? The like weird magic wizard dude that was in your last. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a date listed for these imports? Uh, these ones? Yes. Uh, about a month ago. So, uh, shit, what is the... Oh, damn it, hold on. The I... current date is... 12-20-997. Why did it not mm -hmm. loop? Hmm. All right. So, about 11? Yeah. Uh, eleven fourteen, uh, nine nine seven. Eleven four. Oh, uh, there's not four. Wasn't one of the ones. Oh. The digits were zero, one, two, seven, and nine. Yep. With two being repeated more than the rest. It had more wear. <sighs> All right. Well, I don't know. The only other code I know of is uh. Is the one is Zeke's house, but I've already checked uh, his uh, basement, and I didn't find anything. That's the one I I realized after I sent you in that I think I said it open that uh, uh, Chardonnay's opens an elevator. I think I was getting that confused with Zeke. Zeke's is the one that opens the elevator. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Does he have like a house house or does he live in He's the He's got a house. Okay. Uh well, it's... we know Zeke's not really gonna be coming up to the surface for a while. I mean you can be feel free to check it. Maybe you'll find something I didn't. Uh the uh the num the pad is on the side of his bookshelf and the code is one, two Hold on. Okay. All right. All right. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Mm -hmm. And uh. All right. Let's. Get a look at the... Alright, so that's... Robot Mono in red. Alright. I'm gonna go try to find other clues if you're gonna go check out Zeke's house. Alright. Yeah. Zeke definitely has something to do with the explosion in the mines. And... We need to pre either prevent it or no, yeah, we we need to prevent the mine collapse. Whoop. That was just oh, the bot. Just fiber. Yeah. Okay. The the loop is not working, so I'm just having it leave and come back to try and fix the loop. Alright, uh the question is Do we have enough time for me to go to the bathroom? I can pause. I also would like to bathroom. I also get bathroom to go to the bathroom. break. Bathroom break. No more bathroom break. Bathroom break over. Yeah. Stop your peeing. peeing. I yeah. had to poop. I have IBS. <laughs> My IBS shall not be contained. Woo! Raise your hand if you have IBS. <laughs> I don't think I do. I think it would probably be e easier so. to count who in this server doesn't have IBS. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Anywho, uh, so, uh, what are y'all doing? Uh, 
Heading over to Still Zeke's place, I guess. People. All right, you go to the uh, location that uh, uh, that Miranda gave you. Um, so she's having an existential crisis. You get there at around nine ish. Um, th- through by riding the uh, the omnibus. Uh, it is a fairly uh, modest sized house. It's it's got two stories, uh, and it's got a chimney that is currently uh, got smoke coming out of it. Um, the uh, the door seems to be locked. Whose dog is barking? Uh, Biddy's. I think it's my neighbor's dog, actually. Ah, uh, rip. But, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, that, my that microphone. barking's intense. Yeah, it's really fucking annoying. Yeah. I, yeah. The, the dog barking. <laughs> yeah, it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> Alright, so... The yeah. dog attacked me once. <laughs> I don't know. Nightmare it's ears. Fine. That's fine. All that came out of it was, um, got, uh, it tore my jeans a little. Hey, that actually probably makes them look cooler. And it was on the back of the leg. Ow. My jeans always tear in the eyes. Alright, so, y'all are standing outside Zeke's house. (laughs) The fireplace is going. I'm gonna knock on the door and see if anyone answers. You wait. You wait. You wait, no answer. Very, Open irrespo- the door. very irresponsible of him. Doesn't he know that you shouldn't leave a fire unattended? Open door. The door is locked. The door is locked. Are there people around? Uh, roll perception. Yeah, yeah, I can finally do something Please again. You are Ten. in. E or West Cogston. Motherfucking hell. Six. So let me double check. <laughs> let me check my map. Wrong map. It's probably in locations. I have like three God. folders for maps. I need to label my maps better. Yes, you are in. You're in North Cogston. I don't have any maps. This is you do I theater of mind. Alright. You should. Then uh, again, most of the... Then again, our, your game takes place mostly in the real world. Yeah. Very easy to get maps. Yeah. So you, I guess you can make maps for your dungeons, though. You, uh... You don't really see anyone, uh... Around that is in a proximity to really notice y'all. Great. I'm gonna pick the lock. Alright. Roll side hand. 17. Alright. With a click. You can quickly slip in. Alright. Get in. Get in. Alright. You quickly close the door behind you once everyone's in. Uh, the building is. Uh, the building is. Mostly got wood with a lovely wallpaper that depicts vines. Um, there is a bookshelf next to the staircase um, leading up. Uh, there is a sofa um, in the living room uh, and a uh, coffee table. And you can see a kitchen in the back. Um, with various pots and pans. One thing you notice, there's not a fireplace on this floor, from what you can see. Does it look like there's a basement? Or, like, Katya Katya starts looking for, like, a hidden floor door. Well, we know there's, um, we know there's a, uh, there's a numpad on the bookshelf that leads to an elevator. Oh, yeah. Alright. So let's go let's look for the bookshelf. Alright, roll investigation on the bookshelf. 
All right. Someone else do that. I'm not good at. Sixteen. All right. Uh, the VC is fairly low since you know that it exists. But you find you flip open the panel and one of those numpads, like the one in the clock tower, uh, appears. Mm. All right, and there we go. The uh, password for this one was one two three four five six eight, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Typing that in, uh, the uh, typing that in, you hear the or you see the numpad flip back into the bookshelves, uh, the side of the bookshelf, and the bookshelf sort of uh, slowly swings open, revealing a uh, elevator shaft, and you hear. A <laughs> As a as a fairly loud elevator comes up, uh, you can see that the buttons are on the uh, are close to the door of the elevator, not door, close towards the uh, uh, front of the elevator. And there's a button for up and a button for down. Uh, there is no door on the elevator, and it is. One of those ones that also don't really have walls, uh, more like support. Ah, yes, the old cagey ones. ones, the ones where you don't want to, uh, you don't yeah, want to stick your nose out because then you're gonna lose your nose. You don't want to get yeah. sandmanned. There, there used to be one still existing in New York at the Mood Fabric Store, but they updated it a few years. Oh, it's oh. the OSHA no. violations are so charming though. <laughs> no! Damn you, OSHA. You make everything lose the charm with your <laughs> safety regulations and your so well-being. <laughs> your quote-unquote safety regulations. A.K.A. anti-fun <laughs> measures. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright. So we all do... <laughs> Oh, also on the back of. Let's all pile in and hit down. On the also on the back of the uh, bookshelf, there is a button. Uh, j just a red button. Uh, red but button. Yeah. As you uh get into the elevator, uh, do you press the up button or the down button? It is built into the stair the staircase that leads upstairs, so you can't really go up. Yeah, I I'm going down. All right. Yeah, down. down as as y'all go down through the uh, rickety uh, squealing uh, and grinding of metal on metal, you can see that the book cl case closes behind you. Uh, but eventually, about t twenty feet down or so, uh, you start to see light and feel a somewhat a, a bit of heat and coming into view uh you see that there's a bit of an office with a forge with still warm coals uh a, a small forge uh with st still warm coals uh in the corner uh there is a desk and off to the wall there's a bidet um and there uh and the desk is on the desk there is Neatly organized uh, uh, papers mm. and uh, mm. writing utensils. There's a mm. bidet here. No, 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 not a bidet. <laughs> Sorry, a dubay. Not a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's not a bidet. There's not a bidet. It's a dubay. What is a duvet? <laughs> or duvet. So a blanket. Wait, is a that a cushy blanket? Is that what? Wait, shit! I thought duvet was wasn't. Isn't that a? I thought duvet was like a type of shell, like a a wardrobe. Shit! What am I thinking of? Wardrobe. Fuck. Uh, that vanity? is armoire, armoire. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking of an armoire, not a duvet or a bidet. 
<laughs> uh. His house probably has a bidet. I had it. I had it in the notes. Also a duvet. I guess he poops here. <laughs> you mean a bidet? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> that is. You're the one that fucked up first. I fucked up twice. Ah, uh, goddamn! Yes. It's an armoire, not. It's an armoire. It's an armoire. Armoire. It could be a bidet. <laughs> the bidet's upstairs. Fuck it. He has we a bidet. The, we we open the we open the dresser and inside is a bidet. squat toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would smell awful. <coughs> That's All right. Funny. So, what do you uh, investigate? What do you want to look into? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, let's look in the armoire. All right. Opening it up, you can see very neatly organized are cogs, springs, spru screws, sprockets, uh, gear shafts. Uh, all of it is organized by length, diameter, width, uh, and even by type of metal. They are extremely well organized. Besides so a very uh, neatly organized collection of clockwork, clockwork parts. And, uh, you can even find a few, uh, ingots of brass. Or, yeah, uh, of bronze. I always get brass and bronze confused. It's because they both start with br. Yeah, bronze will always. It's because be they like both start with dark. br and they're both copper alloys. Yeah, and have a z noise. Uh. Brass is what trumpets are made of. Yeah. Brass is the you color don't of like scales. the Brotherhood of Steel. Join the Brotherhood of Brass. Alright, so what do y'all do? Uh, kill sushi. No. Alright, you put your gun oh, to no. her head. head <laughs> this will killed. solve everything. <laughs> no, okay. Um. Goodness. Uh. Katya's gonna look at the papers. Uh, the papers seem to mostly be schematics for the for various automatons, um, and uh, oh, that's useful considering we might have to fight some. <laughs> looking at it, you can see that uh, in their chest cavity. Uh, looking at the schematics, in the uh, humanoid-shaped ones in their chest cavities, there are uh, s uh, slots for uh, punch cards. Uh, which contain their programming. Uh, and these punch card, uh, their chest cavities, as a result, are heavily armored to uh, keep uh, them from getting damaged whenever they uh, are in the mines. There are many hazards in the mines uh, which could uh, <laughs> mess. With their... So someone probably messed with their punch cards, and that's why they're going wacky. Probably. Maybe. Do the schematics say how to get into the, ch the chest to look at the punch card? Roll intelligence. Okay. Well, uh, not that you can tell. You could probably pry their chests open to pull out their punch cards. Hmm. Or maybe, Oof. uh, you could probably try burning it. Like, the pu the punch cards are made of paper. Well, cardboard, mm -hmm. card paper. Cardstock. Cardstock. Yes, yeah. that's the word I was thinking of. They're still like heavily guarded and there's a lot of metal to melt before we get through to burn the paper the paper will probably burn before the metal does hmm. still uh, 
Dang. <laughs> All right. Uh, the... Is there anything else Anybody we can find? Anybody want to help me look at these schematics? Maybe we can figure out the weakness for the robots that are going haywire. I... I guess I can take a crack at it. And that's, uh, intelligence, you said? Yes. Eight. Uh, Oof. yeah, you have no idea. Automatons are wow. not your specialty. I... Just a bunch of dunderheads. You do see Heck, you that there is a big one called, that is labeled as the foreman. The foreman. Yeah, the foreman is scary. The foreman will fuck us up. What I think that's the one that broke the sheriff's leg. Yeah. What's the schematics? What? It's uh, the the, the foreman is the one that dragged the sheriff off. It was one of the uh, sledgehammer uh, mining bots that broke his leg. Well, we're really in for it. We're gonna have to fight them next loop. I don't think we're gonna make it to the mines in time this We could go to the mines... ...now. We could, but we'd only have like two hours. It's already like nine. Well, okay, so have we tested the code this- today? Don't remember. Because we should definitely do that before giving up for the day. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. So, we've tried the current date. Tried. What the about date the, the date the that the wizard showed up? The date that the wizard showed up? We don't know the specific date. You years asked ago. for it. It was 20 years ago. And, it, like, you asked for the day. There was a day. Wasn't there? Your wizard. Know, man. You, you, I don't know, man. It's been, like, a month. You, you were told that it was around 20 years ago. You weren't given a specific day. I was just told it was around 20 years ago. I guess we could back and Back in action. Alright, well, I think we've got all we can from these commands. We'll just have to be extra careful around that big boy. We know that their chests are heavily armored. Yes. And if we can somehow get at the punch cards in the chest, we can change them or knock them out. But that'll be difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. Alright, Katya's gonna look, search for clues elsewhere. Alright, elsewhere in the room or elsewhere in the building? Elsewhere in the room. Alright. Uh, there's... Not much else. There's really only four things in here. The desk, the forge, the armoire, and the elevator. Yeah. There's an elevator? What did, what we, did said, we, we say about the armoire? We came down in the elevator, you dumb. The armoire was filled with, uh... Uh... With... Uh... Clockwork parts. Mm. I guess let's take a look at the forge. Uh, the forge has coals that are, uh, still warm. Uh, roll investigation. <laughs> Yo, that was... <laughs> what was it? It was, like, on a better number, and then it fell Yeah, I hate again. when that happens. Six? Six? One. Yeah, failed. Uh, you stick your hand in the coals, and they're nice and warm. Aww. <sighs> they're not, they're not like, they're not so hot that you can't touch them. But they're 
warming enough. So I can't tell if there's any traces. It's just a bunch of hot coals. Not hot coals, just it warm warms. coals. Cat like warm. Cat cat warm. Yeah. Lukewarm. <laughs> well I don't think we can get His name else isn't Luke. from in here. Let's head further down. Your uh, name is Luke. My name is Levere. Is everyone going in Russian? Is everyone going back up or anyone still want to stay behind and investigate more? I don't really know what else there is to investigate down here unless they're in the desk, maybe? Alright. You can, uh, you can <laughs> investigate the desk. Uh, and Katya, you said you were hey. going upstairs? Oh, I thought I... there were floors to go down to. When we're all ready, well, we can all, like, go further down. Or is there no further down? You can press the down button if you want. Okay. I rolled an 8 on my investigation. I really need to get an ASI and bump these things up. You really do. And... Yo, I kind of <sighs> just want to go to my car and get my physical dice. Oof. Uh, Katya, as you press the uh, down button, you just hear grr 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 and nothing All happens. Right. I guess it's just this floor on the top floor then. Um, Neat. I'm thinking about still investigating unless I'm yeah. not there. Alright, no, you're down here. Everyone's down here. down here. here. Investigate something. All right, who wants to? Whoever wants to go up, go uh, be in the elevator. Whoever wants to stay down, uh, investigate, and uh, let me know I'll who, who's staying. I'll check the armoire again and actually start looking through the different clock parts and see if there's anything hiding. All right, so Raja and Corvus are staying down. Lavier and uh, Katya are going up. Sushi, where are you going? I'll go with them. With who? <laughs> okay. Um, as y'all are investigating the uh, the room, and your teammates go back upstairs, you're gr -gr 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 -gr. you hear more screeching of metal on metal, and you look, and as that elevator goes up, when it reaches the top, you see when it reaches the top, you can see another elevator coming up from under it. That's interesting. Uh, uh, I rolled a 9. Are you going to mention that to the rest of the party through your earrings? Lavir, Sushi, and uh, Katya, y'all are looking at the back of the uh, bookshelf with that button on it. Mm -hmm. I... Press the button. Press the button. You press the button and the bookshelf starts to uh, swing open just like it did before. Okay, it's just an open button. Why do you make it red? Those are usually caution. Because people want to press big red buttons. Maybe while it's open, it sets off an alarm or something. So don't touch it. Well, you already pressed it. I mean, I yeah, wasn't going to touch it, but it's now open. I want to touch it. <laughs> it's touch closed it. now. Or it's open now. It was closed earlier. Press button. Okay, nothing seems to happen. See, Actually, you we were worried for nothing. Guards flood in in the next five minutes. Suddenly the terrace comes out of nowhere and kills you. <laughs> it was the Tarask button. <laughs> Good night. Uh, no. Uh, alright, so as y'all are, uh, up there, do Reja and Corvus tell the others about the second elevator? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Let's pile yeah. into the second elevator. Alright. What, what do you say in your earrings? Uh, when you guys went up, another elevator just kind of popped out. It, like, came up after. Huh. Interesting. Why? It's like hidden yeah. underneath the other one. All right, I guess. If someone was to break in and find the and find out that there was a, you know, another room, there was a a room, they're probably not going to think to send up an empty elevator. I mean, 
I mean, it certainly would yeah. make things more difficult if you were investigating this place alone. Your familiar <laughs> says. Oh. <laughs> so she just like turns to him. It's like. Boop. Okay. Don't uh, scare Levere. As uh, I hear it on the on the on the earring. The uh, elevator goes down uh, as Raja and Corvus are descending into the lower levels. It seems like the elevators are on the same track. Katja and Corvus, I think. No, Katja's a... It's Raja. It is Raja and Corvus. Yeah, I'm dumb. It is. <laughs> you can boost uh, the box for the cat. So, the three of you just see the elevator going down. <laughs> uh, Raja... Corvus, as you descend into the sub lab, uh, you are greeted by a dull green glow. Um, and looking in, you can see this place is wrecked. <laughs> there are papers strewn about, crumpled up, uh, ripped. There is another forge down here with coals that are still burning hot, but also burning in a blue color. Uh, you can see there are uh, four jars full of brackish liquid, uh, a brackish green liquid that give a dim glow, uh, and connect it to some kind of device built into the wall. Um, and there are, uh, there is a, uh, a barrel off in the side, uh, in, in the corner of the room. And the whole thing, the whole room smells very, it smells like lemon pledge, like really strong. I want, wow, I want okay. to try, I want to try to immediately try to cover as many papers as possible, try to connect them together. I'm going to go ahead and cast Death Word on myself. <laughs> All right. What time is it? Uh, it's almost eight. Um, so, uh, what you should I roll in order to get uh, paper? Oh, I mean, alright, I guess, uh, I guess an investigation to try and filter through which papers are useful. Are... Eight. Ah, uh, these are very complex, and you cannot make heads or tails of it. You find one that's, like, got some kind of circle with three other circles, uh, or two other circles, uh, and a rectangle connected to it. You've got uh, several variations of some. You find one that's just a picture of a pickaxe with some weird notes that, like, the head of a pickaxe, but with weird notes that you cannot... Uh, mm -hmm like make heads or tails of coming in on the um, earring hey do y'all need us down there otherwise i'm thinking about checking the upstairs i mean honestly we right now <laughs> there is a lot of stuff here that i can't really read and maybe you guys might have better luck in reading this we're just gonna check out the liquid liquid I choked Not a little touch bit it, on orange look soda. At it. Roll perception. Um, I choked 30. on orange soda just a little 30? bit. Thirty. Mm -hmm. All right. So you notice that looking close, there seems to be. Uh, you can see the silhouette of small <laughs> figures uh, inside, uh, very tiny, could fit in the palm of your hand, curled up. Uh, as the uh, and as like one floats towards the edge, you can see that it looks like a spiky lizard, mm. just like the one that Lorcax spot, although speckled with blues and reds. And then taking a step back, you can see though there are four of these jars, there is a slot where a fifth jar could have slid into that is currently vacant. I think that's where we'll end this episode for today. Oh, okay. Good, because I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> uh, 
it's a bit of a short one today, but I think that's a really good place to end it. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching. There's plenty of other stuff on the channel that you can check out, uh, such as um, Symphony of the Night should be up uh, by now. Uh, episode one of Symphony of the Night. Uh, there is also going to be night in the woods on friday you can yeah biddy and i are are doing night in the woods yeah i'm gonna be playing mm -hmm. hell yeah uh th for everybody. there's uh also going to be uh super mario rpg for the switch that scraps is going to be playing you can catch that on wednesday uh which is tomorrow uh there's also Chalkfee's uh, campaign, uh, System Waste Wasteland, which is a homebrew system that she created called, uh, uh, that is about aliens turning the world into a JRPG. Not aliens. Uh, there is also Tabletop Thanksgiving, which you can catch on Thanksgiving. Yar. Yeah, Tabletop Thanksgiving, where we're playing Settlers of Catan to celebrate Thanksgiving by fighting over resources in a newly colonized land. I will defeat you. <laughs> uh, all right. As I always do. In yeah. of is Scraps going to be joining us, or is it just going to be it's, me, you, and It's Chalk just going to be us three. Scraps is going to be busy on the day we record it. Ah. Uh, we have other people we could invite, you know. Well, they're usually busy. True. Uh, so, uh, common challenge of the day. What's your favorite breakfast? Favorite breakfast? I like waffles with chocolate chips. Chocolate chip waffles, pretty good. I like. I also like waffles, but it's hard to find good gluten free ones. That's fair. You guys will just uh, have to suffer with your uh, celiac and IBS. Donuts. Donuts are good. I miss Belgium. Wait, what was the question? Was favorite What's breakfast. Your favorite breakfast. Yeah. Oh my god. Chris I'm a pancakes. I'm a oh. egg and cheese sandwich. Egg and cheese on a Kaiser or on a long roll. Yum. Mm. Two eggs are uh, medium with bacon, hash browns, and there's a, uh, chocolate morning. chocolate chip pancakes. Fresh hash browns or like yeah. pressed crispy, hash browns? Like crispy. I prefer shredded. hash brown patties to regular hash browns. Yeah. I, love I, the love that I really depends. Patties. All right. The patties uh, are what but, is uh, regular for me, here. Uh, there's a there's a local donut shop called Jack and. Yeah, and they have uh, they have egg cheese and egg bacon cheese croissant. Oh, that which sounds is, so good! It's so good. They also have ones that uh, have. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, with that out of the way, there's nothing left to say. But good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.